Welcome back. 47 minutes past the hour. Well, an annual tradition returning to Clinton, Indiana this Labor Day weekend. Yeah, it's the Little Italy Festival. It runs September 1st through the 4th downtown. The event dates back to 1966 and it attracts more than a quarter of a million visitors each year. Adria Davis is the president of the board and she talked to us about how this event has impacted her throughout her life. I've been involved in the festival for years and years, and I knew someday that I wanted to help out with the board to continue it on for my kids, my grandkids. I think it's important to the community. And now, joining us live in studio to talk about this year's festival, and we're joined by this year's Grape Queen. Good morning to Good both morning. of you. It's been early morning. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. So for people who maybe aren't familiar with Little Italy, can you tell us all about it? Little Italy starts on Friday, the uh, September 1st, with a parade in Clinton at 6 o'clock. Um, and then all weekend, we have a lot of activities, entertainment all weekend, local um, kids dancing, um, so a lot of stuff to do. We have a lot of eating contests, <laughs> um, which is always popular, grape stomping, so there's a lot of things for people to do, kids and adults. Anything new this year or anything that you really want somebody if they haven't been you got to see this if you're coming out Well always it's always the grape stomping <laughs> it's, it's really an unusual experience if you've never done it before um, So you know, it's just you got to have that story if you come to the festival So <laughs> you sure do and it includes like you were mentioning so many different events and attractions including the grape queen pageant, correct? Yes, can you tell us a little bit about that? I competed with six other girls, including two of my younger sisters. So that was a little difficult. Family <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Which we didn't we didn't really fight a lot, so it went really well. But I competed against six other girls, uh, all through ages through 16 through 20. So it was it was quite the competition. What was that process like? What all went into it? Um, well, we had an interview with our judges, and then we had an introduction where we would introduce ourselves, our names, our schools, everything, and then we had an onstage question, and it was about our histo like our history in Clinton, Indiana, and everything. So, how long have you been competing? I've been competing in this pageant. I competed for Queen. This is my second year competing for Queen, and then I was a junior great princess since eighth grade. And so you were kind of the face of this festival for this year. So what's been your favorite part so far? So far, I got to enjoy the media dinner. It was a really great time for me to get to meet a lot of people. I got to talk more with my Ray and Regina, which was amazing because they're just the sweetest people. And you, you talk about uh, an event that brings in around a quarter of a million people into a place, <laughs> a small town mm -hmm. like Clinton. Mm -hmm. How big of a deal is that for Clinton? Um, it's a really big deal for the entire community. Um, if, you know, just looking at Facebook right now, everybody, all the businesses, all the restaurants, everybody has something that involves the festival. And they like to welcome everybody into the community. It brings a lot of business to the community and a lot of people come in not realizing that the community of Clinton has a lot to offer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So we asked you what your favorite part was. What's your favorite part? You've been doing this for a long time. What would you say? <laughs> what would you say your favorite part is? Um, I think my favorite part is just, you know, it's kind of like a community reunion. And, you know, a lot of people come home at that time of year just to see everybody that they went to school with, family, friends. So um, it's just a really good time to see all of your old friends and make new friends. So yes. it's one of my favorite events, really, in the Wabash Valley because you do have that community pride that is just so prevalent when mm -hmm. you walk down the festival route and mm -hmm. things like that. So it's going to be a great time. I can't wait. We are so excited. <laughs> and again, this year's Little Italy Festival, September 1st through the 4th in Clinton. You can learn more information by logging on to littleitalyfestivals.com or you can visit your Facebook page. Absolutely. So, all right. Well, Thanks, ladies, guys. thank you so much for You're being welcome. with us thank today. Thank you. Well, hey. Good luck. Absolutely. September 1st through the 4th. <laughs> I'm going to need probably a bunch.